Okay, so we in the uh, final part, uh, we're gonna create routes from external WAN IP to uh, the individual virtual machine. Uh, so the uh, diagram uh, in my case, which is the uh, lab that diagram, I'm currently using the uh, router and the router subnet is 192.168.1. We're going to be uh, linking this uh, IPs. These are static internet uh, simulated IPs, uh, which would normally be uh, something like this. These are uh, random numbers, but you would get a series of static IPs. Uh, so, uh, in our simulation here, we got uh, 1 .52, 51, 53, 54, and each of them will be linked to individual virtual machine. Um, I'm going to do the first two, and, uh, you know, the remaining two are identical. It's just that you're going to have to change the proper ports. So, um, so now we're going to emulate uh, the traffic to... Uh, this uh, software firewall. Currently, if you are trying to access uh, 192, let's say the server, which is 192.168.1551, uh, uh, which is the first VM, uh, there will be a public IP which, which ends with 51. Then uh, you see you timing out, you're not getting connection. If I try to ping it on uh, in terminal 192.168.1.51, we also timing out, so we're getting an error here. So we're gonna clear these. Okay, we're gonna stop that, and this page could not be uh, open. All right, so um, we're going to go back to the uh, firewall. The first thing we're going to do is create a firewall rule. So in here, we're going to go to add firewall rule. And we're going to call this uh, web server uh, VM51. That's for the 51. Incoming. Okay, we're gonna accept. We're gonna log the policy. We're gonna put it at the top. Groups none. Okay, for the source, where it's coming from is the WAN port. So we're gonna select WAN uh, because again, uh, the traffic is coming through the WAN port, um, and we're gonna allow from any source because you know. Uh, the website is huge and uh, it's the traffic that's coming from the website so we're gonna allow any traffic now we're gonna scroll down and as far as destination so when this traffic gets hit to the firewall um, we're gonna choose destination zone okay we're gonna choose when I'm sorry the hosting LAN uh, hosting LAN is port 3 and 4 that's the uh, zone that we created for virtual machines. So we're gonna click, click that. And uh, destination for uh, 51 will be our uh, destination network. Okay, so in here, we're gonna have to select the port which is assigned to 51. So we're gonna scroll all the way down so as you can see, port 2.0, it's assigned to 192.168.152. Uh, so with the port N0 at the end, it's for 152. So we got to go and find just plain port 2. When we hover this over, we got IP address 192.168.151. Okay, that's the one that we want to do at the moment. Okay, we're going to apply this so we got port 2 now services we're gonna choose HTTP service HTTP and uh, we also gonna do SSH because otherwise we're not gonna get to, uh, to the server through the terminal okay 
and we're gonna save this rule okay so now that we have a rule we should have the rule in place let's see if the ping works Okay, ping doesn't work, so we're gonna have to create rules. Uh, the ping might not be working here, but uh, let's see if the website works. Website is also not working. Okay, so now we're gonna create a net rule for web server VM51. Okay, we're gonna click add new rule. All right, uh, web server Okay, we're gonna position this at the top. All right, so now we have original source any original destination. That's where it's going to, so we're going to choose port 2 again, port 2. Okay, uh, original service, we're going to assign this HTTP and HTTPS if you want, but we're doing uh, as regular HTTP traffic as S H. Okay, we got. Oh, it didn't get added. All right, and translation will be original, so HTTP outside will match HTTP traffic on the inside. Uh, we have to choose the uh, server, so VM fifty one which is 192.168.110.51. So any traffic coming from 192.168.151 will be uh, directed to 192.168.110.51, which is our virtual machines, okay? Um, and inbound traffic, we also have to change uh, to inbound port, port 2. That's where it's coming from. All right, so for now, let's see if that works. We're gonna save that. All right, so now we're gonna try to open the browser. 192.168.151. All right, so we got access to our virtual machine as you can see it says hello welcome to virtual machine 2 a 51 uh, and 52 will do next okay so if you refresh it we got the connection and if you go to firewall rules you should see some packets uh, yeah so we've got the incoming packets and outgoing packets so currently the traffic is being uh, routed so uh, let's see if we can SSH do it. Okay, we just forgot to add. Uh, we're gonna add root. All right, so as you can see, I'm getting the connection but I'm just gonna say no because uh, I don't want to save this security authenticity for this host so we're just gonna say no but yes there is SSH connection to it um, okay so it couldn't validate because uh, I said no all right so we got this now if you want to do this again for the second IP uh, again let, let's see if we can um, bring up the uh, website 
okay I see it spinning and it's gonna time out so we're just gonna let it go um, I'm gonna go to firewall rules we're gonna add rule new firewall rule we're gonna call this virtual machine for the second static IP virtual uh, so it was web server VM 52 and so on so on you're gonna do that uh, for the remaining two uh, incoming uh, we're gonna lock the traffic we're gonna put it at the top automatic we're gonna change it to none source again it's the WAN port because that's where it's coming from uh, we're gonna allow any traffic to come in in here um, Okay, over here we're gonna choose our hosting network, the zone network, uh, which is hosting LAN. Uh, destination, we're gonna choose this time a different one because destination is uh, 5.2, right? So let's scroll down. The port 2 is gonna be to all right so this is one five two so if any coming traffic on one five two it's gonna come in here we're gonna allow HTTP and SSH Okay, we're gonna hit save. As you can see, it timed out, it couldn't be reached. If I do it again, still not working because now we have to create a net rule. So we're gonna go to net rules. We're gonna create another DNet. So we're gonna create new net rule. Web server VM fifty two. I put that at the top. Okay, now we gotta do the uh, source any original destination. So we gotta add this. Port uh, two. Okay, we're gonna do this port two with the IP one five two, one dot five two. Because this is for VM fifty two. Okay, original service. We're just gonna click HTTP. SSH. All right, we're gonna map one to one so it stays original. We just have to choose destination VM fifty two. All right, VM fifty two, and the inbound we have to change that inbound traffic. Uh, all right, that'll be port two. That's where the traffic is coming from. All right, and we're just gonna hit save. All right, so now we're just gonna go to the firewall and look at this, a 52 is already working. So if I refresh this, refresh this, it's welcome to VM52. So our second virtual machine is mapped to the external uh, WAN port, uh, WAN IP, and uh, when you type in the external WAN IP, that will redirect you to uh, virtual machine uh, which is mapped to that <clears throat> external WAN IP. All right, so we're just gonna hit this and we're gonna try this route 52. Okay, we get the connection. I'm gonna say no again. All right, 
Very good. So we all set.